Tori here from ToriToth.com, the place to be to create a home buyers will find irresistible. Happy Mother's Day, and today I am with my mom, who's right beside me, and she, I actually really probably wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for her, because she definitely has a lot of creativity, and I get that from her, and she's also very detail-oriented. So, it's only fitting that I gave her a rough copy of my new ebook, <laughs> and... What did you think, Mom? Um, I loved the ebook. I it got me motivated. I was after I read this, I was so motivated to do stuff around the house that I didn't even know where to begin. Um, so I started small. Um, I Which is have, exactly what we say. I have a a counter in my kitchen, and it just is full of stuff and I hate it. I've always hated it and I just want it to look nicer. So I kind of started there and I'm, with the help of the book and Tori, hopefully <laughs> we'll get through that process. Yeah, so I'm going to show you um, what she's talking about and some things that we could put there instead to kind of prevent the clutter from building back up. So this right here is a section that my mom was talking about and this is a great positive feature especially if you're selling your kitchen. You know, kitchen is the heart of the home. Um, so this is definitely where everything happens here. This is the command center for my mom. But, um, you know, if you're trying to sell your home, obviously this isn't going to fly. But let me tell you why it's a positive feature. Number one, you have storage. So you can have, this could be a bar area. Again, this could be an office area. Um, you even have some shelving down here. And my mom, she did start um, organizing things. As you can see, all of her pens are here. There's a basket for that and some of her paperwork. She's got another basket here, another basket here. So it's just about dumbing this down and reutilizing it to make sure that the clutter doesn't build back up in a week or two weeks, or hey, for some of you, maybe even a couple of days. So the first thing you want to do is remove everything from the space that you want to declutter, and then go through each item, figure out if you can reuse it, if you want to store it, or if you want to get rid of it. In this case, we had a lot of paperwork, so she was just able to file it. but. As I mentioned, this is a key area here. You know, this is a positive feature in this kitchen. And we created two different uh, sections here. Since the phone is housed here on this side, this is a little bit of a command center. You know, we have the pens and the paper for messages. Of course, you know, what mom doesn't have a full calendar that they need to uh, keep. And then on this side, you know, since we have wine up here, we took a cue from this and actually created a little wine area. Um, and then, you know, you want to add a couple of key decor accessories in this space uh, that mimics the rest of the decor throughout the house. You know, this is a country house. It's very colonial. So we took a cue from that and added a, a few key pieces, including Miss Cow right here. So the next step here is to obviously clear all this out. You know, you might want to put um, a, a white bowl or some decorative items down here. Uh, she should also needs to clean out these cabinets. There's a lot of glasses here and little hodgepodge decor that we can get rid of. And you just want to make sure you have everything matching, matching. So, um, you know, put your wine glasses here, put some beer mugs up there. Um, don't have it like haphazardly around. Uh, make sure that you put everything in place. Be sure to check back in on our website at www.toritoth.com so you can get a copy of this ebook. And of course, for more home staging tips to get you one step closer to the closing table, you definitely want to check out that site. Again, it's right here, www.toritoth.com. Until next time, happy selling and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, Tori. <laughs>